In modern warfare, few tactics illustrate such blatant disregard for human life and international law as Hamas and Hezbollah's use of the human shield tactic. This tactic is a deliberate disregard of the very protective frameworks within international humanitarian law which seek to shield and protect civilians from the ravages of war, putting civilians in harm's way for the terrorist group's own gain. In this video, we will look at Hezbollah's use of this tactic. The rationale behind this tactic is both operational and psychological. By placing military assets within densely populated areas, Hezbollah aims to complicate the operational capacities of its adversaries, primarily Israel. The expectation is that any military response for targeting launch sites or other military infrastructure embedded in the population would result in civilian casualties, thereby generating international condemnation and isolation for Israel, and potentially restraining Israel's ability to respond. Hezbollah knows this and is willing to risk Lebanese lives for this perceived potential reward. Hezbollah's decision to embed its military assets within civilian environments is a calculated act. These weapons are concealed within the fabric of daily life, residential buildings, schools, medical facilities, and religious sites. This is not a matter of convenience. It is a strategic choice which is enabled in two ways, with or without the consent of the Lebanese people. In some Hezbollah stronghold areas, Hezbollah has spent decades indoctrinating the local population, including women and children, into beliefs such as martyrdom, jihadism, and the worship of Iran's supreme leader. This process includes using deep psychological warfare and manipulation against its own people, providing them schools, mosques, and services such as food, water, and energy, creating extreme dependency on Hezbollah, enabling total control, which leads to indoctrination. Over time, this manipulation becomes so deep that the people willingly allow Hezbollah to place weapons and other military assets in their homes, schools, parks, and other infrastructure for the chance for them and their children to die as martyrs if Israel retaliates from a launch in their living room. At the same time, Hezbollah is oppressing its opposition, whether a part of the Shiite population or others, making it very clear that any opposition to the human shield tactic and Hezbollah itself will be physically threatened. For example, during the war in 2006, Hezbollah set up checkpoints and did not let the population leave dangerous areas, forcing even the most unwilling civilians to become human shields, even with the threats of death if they don't comply. In 2018, a disclosure on the online platform Wikimapia revealed more than 30 Hezbollah missile sites embedded within civilian infrastructure in Beirut. The precision and detail of these locations, later compiled by the Alma Center into 32, provided a rare glimpse into Hezbollah's operational methodologies, confirming the extent to which civilian areas are militarized. Additionally, southern Lebanon, under Hezbollah's influence, has become a focal point for this strategy, where one out of every three homes is used as a Hezbollah military site. Hezbollah's use of the human shield tactic is not just a psychological warfare campaign against its own people, but also the West, hoping to utilize the Western values of human life to manipulate the world into condemning and isolating Israel when the civilian deaths occur due to Hezbollah entrenching military assets and weapons in every area of civilian life in complete contradiction to every aspect of international law.